we continue the work of UCMC. We continue work of UCMC and now we have opportunity to present new free online course on reform of local government on Prometheus platform that uh, uh, starts uh, on the 31st of October. The registration is open. Today we are going uh, to speak with Anatoly Tkachuk, author of the uh, course Research and Department uh, Director, NGO Civil Society Institute, Victoria uh, Primachenko, co-founder of online education uh, platform Prometheus. And also the, we will be joined by uh, Sergei Zelensky, Director of the Center for Retraining and Qualification Improvement for the Officials of State Bodies. And um, also by Deputy um, of the, uh, Head uh, Sergei um, Verona and uh, Tatiana Dmitrienka, Deputy, um, oh sorry, um, she is the Head of uh, um, public administration. Now we are online and also our presentation will be on the um, internet platforms and then YouTube and then the UCMC uh, website. In 2017, Ukraine Crisis Media Center initiated creation of a course on uh, reforms of local government in the framework of uh, uh, you say the program decentralization offering better results and efficiency. Anatoly Fedorovich Kachuk dealt with this course and technical implementation was provided by Prometheus platform. The result of cooperation is the first mass online course decentralization in Ukraine theory and practice. During six months of video lectures and uh, working on materials, completion of tasks, uh, speaking with the uh, teachers, uh, discussions on the forum, students understood, uh, underst uh, got understanding and systemic uh, view on what is going on concerning decentralization and reform of local government and what reform provides and how this reform may be used by them. And also, uh, this product was supported by uh, central bodies of power and uh, the uh, prime minister. So I would like to give the floor to Victoria. Please remind to us about the results of this course, first course, and how do you assess them? Uh, thank you very much. This is a popular course that involved uh, training more than seven and a half thousand people. For such type of course, this is a big number of people. This course is not easy. It is not simple. And uh, it has good response from the students and uh, we are glad with this course and uh, how uh, people um, what the um, attitude people have to this course. This is a valuable course. And we believe that this topic should be continued. And uh, in this way, uh, we got the idea to create the next course. Thank you, Victoria. Uh, so, Anatoly, please tell us about the course. Uh, uh, you've said that this is based on the process of decentralization. Uh, we have a lot of achievements in this area, but a lot of tasks before us. Uh, you said that the next co course is called Decentralization from Paternalism to Responsible Development. What is the essence of this course uh, and um, uh, what is the curricula, what to expect from this course? When we speak about decentralization, when we speak about decentralization, many people they say that uh, our decentralization is wonderful and everyone reports on it, even those who were against and who created obstacles to decentralization. And they refer mostly uh, to the increase in local budgets. They show pictures, how schools are repaired and uh, new pipelines. Uh, everything is right, but I believe that the main is not this. The main is psychology. Uh, the majority of people who believe in decentralization, who became the heads of the co United Communities, who became deputies of the amalgamated communities, they understood that decentralization is the instrument, the instrument with which you can do things efficiently and you may get good results in your community or you may not use uh, these instruments. So 
You have, for example, a pencil. You can draw a nice picture because you use this pencil and you know how to draw. Or you may have a pencil, but you do not know uh, what you should do with it. And uh, two different people will have two different results with one instrument. So the idea of the new course, it is that we go from paternalism uh, because the state needs to provide help and uh, the president, the Verkhovna Rada should help us. But we say no. Now we have a special instrument that we are going to use and we uh, will be able to efficiently develop. We should think about ourselves and we should put efforts and we should use new opportunities to ch change the situation in the community. So this is the key. And I would like to bring this key idea in my lectures. And this course, it differs from the previous one. One lecture is uh, similar. This is uh, uh, about how decentralization was going on and what we achieved. And this is all that repeats. Next, everything. is uh, said and spoken and logic uh, algorithm, what should be done? What bodies now implement uh, these responsibilities and what are the peculiarities of the activity in decentralized Ukraine? So uh, what we should pay our attention to. So we have novelty here, we are speaking about identity. Because now the whole world faces the crisis of identity. In the global world, in the uh, global competition, uh, uh, those people who have proper identity, they win. Those who can mobilize their communities, these people win. And uh, we help find this identity uh, to commu uh, for communities. When we speak about responsible development, we speak about different instruments that the state provided in order to get additional resources. But we are speaking about how to use those resources and instruments in order to form added value, in order that community um, have business. And uh, there is a simple thing, the government's develop business and economy and we should understand that no matter what the government does whether it ruins the business or improves it we should think about ourselves about our local business and how to develop it we say that we should see our own territory our own community, not from the ground, but from the space. We should look from above. We should look at ourselves, at our community to see the comprehensive picture. And this comprehensive picture should become a map for our strategic development. And we speak how to carry out the strategic planning, how to make it logical. And in the lectures, it is impossible to speak about it in detail. That's why We combine two technologies. One, maybe you heard about it. Minister says that uh, people should not read books, they should watch video or to attend the conference and you will know everything. From one side, we use this element, we created a video, you may watch it, you may hear it, and then we are speaking about other things. If you are interested and you would like to use it, uh, please go to the next iteration. Uh, please read additional materials that we provide, watch presentations, and uh, you should think about it, and please try to provide answers to the questions. So from the video to answering questions. And I believe in this way, um, knowledge is formed that is not just knowledge for knowledge. 
in order to speak with someone. This knowledge turn, turns into skills that you may implement in your community, and you will see that it really works. So I believe that our horse course is rather interesting, and it was not easy to uh, do it. It was rather hard. Uh, because you deliver the lecture before the camera and it is more difficult than to present your lecture before the audience because you uh, do not have a feedback at this moment. And in the process uh, of creating these video lectures, uh, we uh, changed the plan a little bit because views change. Uh, when you deliver these lectures, and uh, it is probable that in some time we should go back to this topic again and touch upon other aspects that are really important. And uh, what is the target audience for this course comparing with the previous one? You know, we identified target audience. So those people who deal with a, a local government, those people who work in local government, officials, deputies, but we say that this is a modern course. It is more oriented on other target audience, that those who will go to elections in 2020, because 2020 is the year of local elections and competition will increase. And uh, I really want that the activists and the civil activists uh, who want to participate in next elections, I want them to hear this course because uh, uh, they, when they want to be elected in village council, they should not speak about the reform of the uh, pension sphere. They should speak about the territory of the community in order that it be comfortable for residents who live there and those who will be uh, involved because the key resource for which you should fight uh, this is people. And in this course, repeatedly, we say this, that the key resource is people. This is not grievances. Uh, Victoria, Parameters platform provides efficient, modern means for education. Tell us, please, about peculiarities of this course and how to use possibilities, opportunities that create um, Parameters uh, uh, to the maximum uh, uh, for those people who want to uh, undergo this course. Uh, thank you for your question. You say that this is technical support, Parameters. This is not the case. When we create uh, uh, courses of Mr. Tkachuk, uh, so this is philosophic uh, work to show to community a person of such view, such uh, such experience, such uh, of such skills. This is education function. That's why I can tell you how to undergo this course. You should get registered. You should uh, uh, listen to the lectures. You should complete tasks. And the main, you should communicate. Uh, there is a forum. You enter with your questions, your opinions, and you should ask questions to Mr. Tkachuk, and you should listen carefully. And for me, I believe this is the main um, task of this course. I agree with you. Also via Skype, we have Kiravagrad Region Center for retraining and qualification improvement for the officials of state bodies and local governance. For them, that will be of interest because they work with this audience. Do you hear us? Yes, we hear you. Sergey, the director of the center and deputy head, uh, Sergey Varona. Tell us, please, we would like to know your opinion about this online course, how it can be used during uh, retraining, whether it is a good and comfortable course for your audience, for your students. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Do you hear us? Yeah. 
Please continue. So we really like this course, previous course. We used it uh, uh, for training of officials uh, of state bodies and local governance. And I hope that this course that will start on the 21st of October, we believe that it will be of use. We didn't study the issues it covered, but I, I hope uh, and I believe that we will use it, of course. It will be useful for different purposes. I would like to ask Anatoly. We work concerning decentralization issues a lot, and you are guru in Ukraine concerning this issue, and we use your materials, your presentations, and uh, during seminars, but at the same time, the course you propose Uh, this is the opinion about implementation of decentralization at, at the end of February. There should be some legal uh, legislative changes, division of Ukraine into Povits and uh, several uh, amalgamated communities in the Povit. How it will be reflected in your course? And uh, according to the plan, we try to cooperate with the Institute. And when we say about uh, audience, how to identify this target audience, we believe that we should involve the, the representatives of the amalgamated communities in order to improve the level of knowledge about decentralization, taking into account that they have some experience. Because uh, we should uh, first establish identity, identify this identity, and uh, also uh, what creates capacity for our communities. Thank you. Uh, dear Anatoly and dear Victoria, I would like to continue with the question that my colleague said. So this territorial reform, is this decentralization or centralization? If instead 24 oblasts, they create several regions, I believe that this is centralization, not decentralization. Also, the loss of uh, controllability. There won't be bodies that would control. Oh, we will uh, live and see this. And uh, Victoria said that this course, this is not uh, that you have non-technical but philosophical approach to this course. Tell me, please, where is philosophy concerning this issue when small fatherland is lost? Yes, we have Ukraine, but at one moment they say, look, there is no such oblast. And where I was born, where was I born? This is a really important issue. And you remember, Uh, so maybe uh, we will give opportunity for speakers to respond. Thank you. Dear colleagues, I would like to say that uh, please uh, uh, get rid of this information that uh, someone will get to unite these uh, oblasts. There will be 10 or 15 regions. Uh, this is not true. This is uh, not relevant not necessary because all Ukrainian oblasts, uh, they correspond to European conditions, uh, requirements uh, of the regions, uh, and we adapt to this European standards. And uh, we cannot change our oblasts in order to change them once again. This is all fake. 
that was disseminated by journalists who didn't understand correctly short presentation of new MPs concerning changes to constitution. Uh, no one will touch these oblasts about Povitz. The matter is, uh, existing regions that are in Ukraine, they are too small. When we have big communities and we have 20 plus regions where one or two communities exist that cover all the region, that's why we not, do not need such regions anymore. They should be big and I believe that we should introduce the system of POVITS. But the new people's deputies, maybe um, they do not know history well and they believe that povit is a, a weird and archaic word and they decided that instead of regions they will have districts deputies districts educational and police districts and administrative uh, districts uh, uh, will be added and then we will be uh, live happily ever after but i believe they will get rid of this idea because uh, the name uh, should have proper meaning. This is sub-regional level. This should be Povit or this will remain region or a big region, it will be called. So I believe that everything will be okay. So t tomorrow uh, there will be a change, a draft changes to constitution presented and uh, I have a cautious attitude to the, what, uh, towards this. When constitution you now changes are being adopted in a quick and weird way, and there are many draft laws, uh, today we have one change, next day the other changes, so this uh, uh, creates uh, um, non-stable situation concerning constitution and uh, uh, some people say that uh, changes should be introduced to constitution otherwise we won't be able to complete reforms and i believe that uh, this is the responsibility of P mps and uh, responsibility of the president uh, did we include it in our course uh, we included our current situation this is a and b logic of development of self-government in europe on the whole and in Ukraine as well. Ukraine ratified the European Charter. That's why I'm convinced that we won't uh, go outside this Charter and we speak about some risks that they may appear. And we've discussed all this. And summing up my response, I would like to say that everything will be okay. Decentralization will be be completed the matter is when if we follow the logic that exists now we will it will be easy to complete it in current year the law will be adopted to establish administrative and territorial division of ukraine next uh, election 2020 in territorial communities and in the regions, elections will be held based on the new system and the oblasts on the old basis. And the oblasts will remain the same. And identity won't be ruined because I was born in Markevich and uh, this will remain forever. If I am a Podolanin from Khmelnytska oblast, I will be Podolanin. And regions. Uh, they do not relate to identity. That's why nothing bad will happen. Do you have other questions concerning the topic of this presentation? If not, if there are no, thank you. I would like to say that this feedback is really important. It shows the importance of um, increase of awareness and systemic approach to what is going on. And our course is for these purposes. So now uh, we have time for questions. Maybe someone from our audience have a question. We have a question through Facebook. Do you envisage in your course some quiz, uh, some type of game in your course? Do you have it? No. We do not... Uh, 
have games there. Maybe I'm old school. I do not use this technology, but maybe it is worth doing this for young people as an option. This course starts uh, next Thursday on the 23rd of October. Please, please register. We will uh, put reference on Facebook page of uh, um, the Dobra program and the UCMC and also you may find more materials on Pr uh, Prometheus site. You, uh, please spread information and uh, spread this information among your friends and acquaintances and uh, please maybe you may tell some words to our audience, your friends. Those who will become students, who will watch the videos, I would like to say you should understand one simple thing. What you hear is not the ox uh, axiom. The world is fast changing. There are many options. And for any A, you may find B. So please search for different options and the main, we should adhere to the logic. Uh, the main problem, unfortunately, is that we do not uh, correlate uh, our um, um, conclusions from what we uh, heard or what we read or what we thought. Uh, and. Uh, we speak among them, uh, ourselves and in this communication, uh, in this knowledge, uh, some ideas appear that will help us uh, to implement real good changes in communities where we will feel not as poor relatives who want uh, to get help, but we will be capable people who are able to make our life better. And uh, this will be a good life and safe life and we will do it uh, um, by our own hands. Uh, so uh, please join our course and I ask Anatoly to think about the next course for us. Thank you. This is wonderful. This is a wonderful idea. Thank you very much. Thank you, Victoria, Anatoly, and we thank our audience. Thank you for attention.